Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So today, we're gonna be getting back into the garage. If you look over my shoulder, I got a bunch of stuff just piling up. And over here, next to the coolers, got a bunch of more stuff piling up. So we really need to get into organization. Uh, Garage isn't very good if you can't find what you're looking for and everything's a mess. So with that, I got some shelving. But before we put the shelving in, I need to finish up this wall. Yeah, I know. All goes in patterns, don't it? Now one of the reasons why we are going to be doing this now, uh, first off, the temperature has dropped. We're about 60 degrees out right now. So it's a nice cool day. So we're not gonna be sweating our patooties off. Uh, second reason is the Samurai needs some work, maybe the Jeep. So I need to start getting the garage set up so that I can get a vehicle in here. Um, the Samurai ended up blowing a front seal, I believe, or the oil pump has gone bad on it. I don't know, I won't know until I pull the uh, front pulley off. I just know I got oil coming from the front of the engine. As well as the clutch has been making noise so I've ordered a clutch. Rest of it we'll figure out once we get to it. The Jeep is still at the shop. Still the mechanic isn't 100% sure what's wrong with it. He's doing more diagnostics. Uh, hoping here soon to know if it's just in my head that there's something wrong or if there actually is something wrong. So with those two things, kind of need the garage space. Need to be able to start putting some of this stuff uh, up, getting some more space in here. That and so Diana can start getting her stuff set up as well. So we're gonna start by taking everything on this wall and moving it away from this wall so that we can have a blank slate to put the insulation in as well as set up the shelving. So follow along. I'm sure I'll be doing some more talking at some point on this, and I'm sure the battery is going to die before I get too far into it.
All right, well, we got that wall completed. So now we're gonna go ahead and start assembling the shelving. Uh, the shelving that I got, I got two different styles or two different makes. I got the Muscle Rack Pro Series, sorry. And I got this one specifically because it has these metal grates in it. This one has particle board, but they look like they're the same when I was looking at them at the uh, store as far as their general design. It's just this one uses wood panels, this one uses metal railing. So it's got several different configurations. We're going to go ahead, open up the uh, first box because we're going to start with the metal and see how we can configure it. Now with this, I've had these in the past and I found a nice rubber mallet helps with the assembly. And at this point, so does a nice sharp knife. Ta-da! So, gut, railings, we've got the worst instructions in the world. So, you know what we do with instructions, right? Now, I don't know how the instructions describe this, but these railings fit in here right along, whoops, you see, they fit right in here like this. I usually do it this way because if you do it this way, you get enough weight on it, it's gonna push it out. So we're gonna assemble it semi upside down. Hmm. As near as I can tell, these, there's two, four, five, so there's ten of these and five shelves, so in theory these are to hold those down. Alright, done with the instructions. Key to pay attention to also when you're installing these, make sure they're all facing the right direction, not putting them together like that. Make sure they face like that. Hey, remember what I told you earlier? Here's a perfect example. So, you got light bulb, light bulb, light bulb, light bulb fell down. I'll put this rail on upside down. I am only human, give me a break. I didn't break it. Yay!
Well, I got the shelving all installed. I got a couple extra rails left that are gonna go in that gap right there, but I'm gonna hold off on putting those in until after I get the um, electrical in there. I got a special outlet, I'm gonna be putting a 220 there so that if I'm running some kind of welder or whatnot, uh, don't have to worry about it, as well as it's gonna have an outside outlet for a 50 amp service for our camper. Uh, putting it off the front of the building, that way if we're getting ready to go somewhere, we don't have the doors blocked in the way of anything. We can pull the camper up, plug it in, get everything going so that when we leave, everything's good to go. Uh, but, as you can see, I got a little workbench set up underneath the uh, window. It's a little workbench. I got to do some more modifications. I unfortunately got to buy a sheet of plywood. Uh, yeah. 7 8 plywood at that, so some floor, tongue, and groove. That would probably be a $100 bill just for that. But I'm going to go ahead and start getting the garage cleaned up and get stuff uh, shelved, as well as maybe start pulling some stuff out of the shed as well, because i got a lot of stuff in there that don't need to be in there. Uh, and my helper is, uh, well... My helper came out had some cereal, sat down, decided she liked the carpet, and that's where she's been. Let me start the music back up for her because she asked where the music went just a second ago. Well, I was getting ready to do another little uh, section of this uh, shelving over here. I was gonna make the top for the, uh, basically the workbench, except I ran into a small problem. Got my saw horses out. And I think I need to work on my sawhorse first.
this is going to be my new work surface. Why am I doing a new work surface? Because if you look at this, it's hard to tell in camera, but this is uh, from mica or chipboard, whatever you want to call it. When it gets wet, it starts to bow, crinkle, and it loses all support. It's basically compressed sawdust, which sucks. I don't know if you can see it, but it's already starting to bow in the middle. So we're gonna use that for a backing and we're gonna use this, uh, these boards that I just pulled here for the actual uh, work surface. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if this works. going to be my workbench for the uh, foreseeable future until I get back into the garage and do some more uh, insulation and get Hun's uh, studio built. But for now, we got a bunch of storage, so I got to start getting the stuff out of my sister's garage and get it over here. I got a lot of stuff over there. That'll be some other day, though. Got to work on the Jeep behind us now. So, is this workbench perfect no but for what I'm gonna be using it for it's perfect for me I need something that I can put car parts on and bang on and do whatever with so this will work perfectly fine for what I plan on doing and one of the reasons why I use the pine boards is because it was 50 bucks for the wood versus 80 bucks for a new sheet of plywood I'm not spending 80 bucks on a sheet of plywood and the plywood was thinner too, and much worse quality. So, 
Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. We don't need you all the way up on the tripod now, too, do we? Going down. Done.